young boy. We're doing a little special today. We're doing a little reaction video. We're gonna watch uh what's this bullshit you got me watching? Oh, by the way, this is my special guest. You wanna introduce yourself to the people? It's Carlene guys at Life of Cars. You can find her on Instagram. She cooks, she cleans, she do everything, she's looking for a man if you wanna hit her. See that's right. That's <laughs> That's why we need therapy. I'm not editing that out. You snap me. I got proof of GBH. This is why we need the therapy. Not blue therapy. Maybe <laughs> red, green, silver. <laughs> not, not this one here. But yeah, uh, I'm way behind on this. So, uh, you, what have you seen already? Episode one. Okay, so don't. Okay, so we'll watch episode one, two today. Don't spoil it for me. Uh -huh. um, but it's it's going crazy on the, the clips I've seen though. I'm looking forward to three and four. Oh, for real? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, the clips I've seen it, it, is not it's not the one. So you got your thing there, I've got my thing here. Uh yeah, so yeah, guys, this is just a reaction video. You might hear our opinions, our takes, meanwhile, and whatnot. Um But yeah, we're on episode one. You should have seen this already. If not, enjoy the viewing with us, you know. Um but yeah, you ready to go? I just need you to press the space button, let's press it at the same time. Same time. Three, two, one, let's go. Go. Suited and booted and that. So for my boyfriend, I've been doing a lot lately. Um, this is the last leg for us. We're really, really. That's my girl from. Um, I've seen opportunity. Like Chapman. Social experiment. Can I watch it? That it's best we both come here. And She's been on another one. Is that the one that had the big, the group of guys on one side, the group of yeah, girls on the other? Yeah, 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 yeah. Three years now. This guy went in it. Though. Just like everyone else, we've had our ups and downs. You know, things happen, but coming to therapy with a camera for some social experiment that's just it's a red flag to be fair so are you down to get on camera to do blue therapy like they're doing i don't know i need to know my business like that so he has a good point though yeah you know us getting to this extent where we're actually here unless they're getting paid and it's bringing in money and adding to their account how much money is enough to put my business on the street like that I'll just say, look, I even if it's a even if it's a fake your fake business Probably 10k each. That it? Half each, six months, six months wages. For one quick show. Hello. Hi Denise. Come in, sit down. Hello Paul. How is the traffic? Terrible. Oh, but we're it? here. Oh. We made it. My name's Denise and I'm your therapist today. Have you ever been to therapy before? <laughs> Never. We've never been. I did go online. I read how important it is about, you know, um, having premarital therapy, counselling. Does that mean they're getting married? I was going to say, yeah, so they're not married. Um, they're not married, but they're in a serious relationship. I wouldn't say he looks so confused. But they're engaged. Chancey's the got me on we're progressing in our relationship and I'm not entirely happy. Okay. So, Paul, um, thank you for joining us. He Have looks you got mad. Any idea of what expectations he said like this. Looking to that right to the fuck my head. To this, this therapy session. I literally, I have no idea. I'm curious <laughs> to find out. Okay, that's great. Well, it's great that you're here. So, uh, shall we start? So, of course, this isn't my first time on camera. I'm very comfortable in front of the camera. Um, I understand Paul isn't. I didn't bring him here to embarrass him, though. This. It's kind of like shock therapy. It might shock him. Yeah, like two different girls. Seeing that we need help. That we Make up and be, be doing that, bro. I'm going to ask Jeremy to just... This is why us men, we don't be like, well, um, Paul likes it. But... <laughs> <laughs> two different women. In hair, she got hair like you got right now. And in the other one, she got hair like... She looks lighter here as well. Probably the lighting, but... No, it's, feel it's the feel. Though, we are... We've got different... Um, views of life so to me paul is very image he puts too much emphasis on how people perceive us as a couple um how he's perceived as an individual and how i'm perceived as an individual currently in our relationship we're doing a lot of instead of really like fixing the issues okay paul do you feel the same way <laughs> i'm literally blown away like i haven't even heard this before 
what, what, what's, do you want to give more context to what you're actually saying? Because I'm, I'm a tiny bit... Okay. Confused. Paul, for example, has a lot of friends. He has affluent friends. He feels like he has to fit in. I can see the the friendship, but the stuff like that's that's weird thing. Yeah, I didn't know if that was makeup or either way, it looks bad. I didn't know what that was. You know, when Mike's pretty girl, though, but Paul will do it anyway, and then he'll spend the next week or two chasing the bag he's doing, um, which now leaves me in a deficit of love. So there's neglect. I'm not saying that she's not pretty, I'm saying that the version we've seen of yeah, is very well done. Uh, I want to know the version God made. Now, before Wake I up make, in the morning. Before, before I, I contribute to that statement. Multiple accounts, crypto accounts, high interest accounts. My man's got crypto blood. Yeah, my my few okay. balance with the crypto. This is, this, this is before the crash. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> he might be broken. <laughs> I'm not gonna add to that. I'm not gonna add to that. Listen, you got to buy the dip. You got to buy the dip in the market. I actually think she's right, but let let, let me break it down for you. I'm happy and I'm humble enough to be the brokest man in a room full of millionaires. Do you know why? Okay. Do you know who would have the most to benefit in that type of situation? You would. So that's practically how I've been able to exponentially grow my income, basically. He's taking the whole fake it till you make it to another extent. Because at the end of the day, I'm not naive to know that you are treated how you're perceived. However, be yourself um, with the whole spending above your means. Should I say, yes, we can afford it. I'm not saying we can't. Because I feel like in this day and age, a lot of people spend we need to beyond spend. their we means. Need to do this we need to do, do you know why, though? But as much as, yeah, I purchased... Because uh, my, my society boy. tells you to. No, it's not even that. It's so... Um... ...situations where he's invested and there's been no returns. Wow, well, she's I don't feel like I need to suffer at the expense of his investing and putting himself in positions. But um, do you know why though? Because um, we're at a place right now where we're in a relationship. The CEO, so yeah, they pause it. CEOs are driving the same cars as their employees because what the CEO bought for cash, the employers are buying in finance. So this is how people are able to live beyond their means and. Uh, buying things, buying something, even on finance, that's one thing, but maintaining it, that's where the extra cost comes. Mm. Uh, that's where the extra cost comes in. It's like, you know Bugatti? Like, Floyd Mayweather's got, like, 19 B -B 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 Bugattis or something. It's the mo one of the most expensive cars in the world. Hmm? 19 for one human. He's got it. Mm -hmm. He might have less, he might have nine, I don't know. I don't know that's your number. He's got more than one, but continue. Yeah. Um, but they build that car at a loss so that they sell it for 1.6 million, but it, it costs that like double, it costs that like, it costs that like five million to make. But where they make their money back is where you can get that car service. You can't go, you can't even go like Mercedes and get that car service. You can't go no, you have to go to them and get a service. The new wheels, the new engine, the new stuff, that's where they make their money back. But you still gotta wait how long for that to go wrong for you to make your money back. No, 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 no. Services every year, otherwise you lose the warranty. Mm -hmm. Upkeep and everything like this. Like even something as small as that tires, you know, every ten thousand miles. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's where they make their money back. Do you feel that it's an equal situation? <laughs> she just said she's suffering yeah. for nothing. <laughs> he said he's the prize. Mind nothing. He said he's the prize. I said. It's like you need something. This is why we're here because anytime I bring up at home, he dismisses it. Really? Okay, you're you're not comprehending what I'm okay, saying. Okay, okay. I've lost. Just literally just explained yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look. Out of everything I said, you got that bit. Like Paul's, he takes what he wants to take. He hears what he wants to hear, and he sees what he wants to see. I'm not dismissing it right now, right? We're having a conversation. You know, I don't know you from anywhere. With you know the drive, the ambition, you know me taking you know come and you know celebrate together. But then I've actually kept the same energy, and now it seems like she doesn't really have the same energy. So who is the person that's falling off? Okay, so in other words, I'm a hater. Well, because I still I still would um, celebrate your wins. No, th that's true. But the only thing is. Let me give you an example, right? Uh, so literally, I have access to a good number of private members clubs. 
Uh, this is through the clients of mine. I train um, high net worth individuals, um, you know, celebrities, you name it. Now, <laughs> with these membership clubs, obviously it's not everyone that's, you know, invited. And I feel like that kind of affects trauma. Whereas before, if we were going to like, you know, like a normal type of, yeah, average, no, maybe <coughs> average Joe, but you know, the usual like thing. I kind trauma. of go, oh, babe, you know, come along, but- Oh, she's going for trauma. No, it sounds like oh, a trauma. Trauma. Oh, it's trauma. Oh, it's trauma. trauma. <laughs> I don't really feel like she needs to be present and she actually doesn't have to <laughs> I have to put that in. What where I'm not, I'm not upset that I'm not able to come to the events that you go to and to the, the gambling places because it's gambling. Yeah, it's it's gambling, gambling if you have. Let me not do that. So sorry. The, the clubs you guys are going to and the money you're spending, some of it. I don't see the problem. He's got a life. She's got a life. Like not all the time. Must she do things together? It's not yeah. It's so not I'm confused. To um, our relationship or to, to him, even places like if it's your business, places, if it's your work, yeah. They look at him. So you're out here doing. The most buying so many bottles, paying ten k. Let him do that, and it doesn't make sense. And I'm at home. Yeah. Being you home. You're at home. You need to do something connected. for yourself. So my point is, you're putting too much emphasis on. So this is what I'm hearing. Why is that? He's doing too much for himself to benefit them, and she's not reaping no benefits. So, so, she's she's so that's why they're in therapy. Yeah. yeah. Work really hard for himself. Now, he chose because he didn't say, Come back, come sit at this 10k table with business partners with me. Do you reckon if she was allowed to come, it would be all right? If they're sending you a message, whether it's a text or WhatsApp, she's claiming that's not the problem, that's definitely part of the problem, not the whole problem, that's definitely part of the issue. Who's this exciting? <laughs> is this like Maury? This is exciting. <laughs> so who is she? Second couple come again. But she's by herself. You don't know. This is exciting. I'm telling. This is how they link up to look. She's sitting in the same room. Look. Are you okay? This is exciting. Imagine the same man that she's in walking. <laughs> She got a wig on too, or is that weave? I don't know. I can't tell. What's the difference between a wig and a weave? And she's got two different looks. And she's got two different looks. A wig, can you just pull that off your head? Yeah. Oh. And a weave is sewn in, that's yeah. it. But how can you tell, like, if they're wearing one or. And Jamal is late. I don't know. Oh, he's late. And she's upset. Was the traffic back? <laughs> um, yeah. What are you here now? Can I just I start by it. asking you what brought you here and, and how long have you been together? Can I take that? No, maybe it's first. We've actually been together for a year. Um, I met him at one of his fitness events. So my sister also does fitness, so they'll do a class together. And then we met, we started talking. Oh, he met her through the sister. I bet he's like, I've got the wrong sister. So he <coughs> um, has had therapy before, and he thought it was really good and helpful. So I feel like that's why I'm open to doing it. And what are you hoping? Yes, this is what I always talk about. What's the purpose? Of the relationship. Yeah. I think to actually set some foundations. Uh, foundations should have been set before you got together. In my opinion. You started great. Relationships do have rocky parts, but it's nothing too big, I guess, to get over. Just looking into your background, uh, have you had many relationships? This actually is my first relationship, um, but I have obviously dated in the past. Um, oh, so this is the first time she's had sex under the bounds of a relationship. Yes, so. And what about you, Jamal? It's the first time she could call someone. Man, I'm jealous. Man, I'm jealous. Man's had four girls. Four girls to our one man. But how old is he? 28, did he say? I don't know. I wasn't listening to you. So it's long term relationships so for him to really be on his. This is it. It don't matter. Listen. He's had four. Listen. A relationship is relationship is relationship. He's had four women in his life. They could have been running at the same time. You didn't even think about that. He could have been in. He wouldn't class that then. He why? He yes, he would. If he's getting fed um, by all of them, why not? He's always late. When I address him, he's communicating for being late. So, yeah, that's, that's a problem. I feel like he's always. You see these wig wearers and um, weave wearers and whatnot. You see, she's got like two different. This is why I say I have to see them the way God made them, not the way they made 
made them. I can't lie, I hate on the fact that you can switch up your style so quick. So can you, you can put your hair up, you can put your hair down. Yeah, but they can switch up the colors. Yeah, I know, like, they can be no, light skin, dark skin. <laughs> Gonna Man said he double booked. Like, do do happens. Often, because Jamal's taken on more clients, it's more money. But What's the problem? It's with it? it's more money. Money. That we were going to see each other on this particular okay. day. Why are you double booking? Money comes first. Things happen. This exactly what I said. I like this guy. Can I just ask questions? Often at the same time, oh, okay. he came late to the meeting. Didn't even care. No. no. Yes, I do. Yes, he do. Okay, so the last time we invited him to have dinner, I communicated with you. He told me five minutes before. Maybe that's so when he realised. That's inappropriate. Debra I like complaining about me being late. Like, she understands where the man's coming like from. Like, she doesn't take consideration of my time, where I'm coming from, what I'm doing before. She just wants to set the time and expects me to get there. They ain't gonna run. Ain't gonna run. Time, time, the time is a constant. It doesn't really exist anywhere. How are we back on these people already? You say that because you're late for everything. Don't listen. This you're late as well. What are you talking about? Been late once. But again, we're in a relationship. So we're, we're marking down tardiness from now on, yeah? Is that what we're doing? This was school, yeah. My attendance will be high and yeah? yours will be below. My attendance my attendance will be hundred percent. My my punctuality now is not under question. Do you feel that you're giving as good as you get in the love um stakes? Love stakes. Well, to be fair, I thought I did. But now I kind of, I, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, like, does she trust, do, do you trust me? It sounds like a true question. I do trust you. Let's just come into this though. Me and you trust my judgment and you know that between the both of us, we both got ourselves to the position where we are, which is a better position than we were in. Why would you not continue to trust the process? That's a good point. Trust the process. If you trust me, trust the process. The love aspect of our relationship. Love. I'm a woman. I'm not wood. This is love language now. How do you receive and give love? My love language is like... When we first started, she knows I'm hardworking. I was doing X, Y, Z, what I had to do. Okay? Everything was fine. She was it. So, because I think this is important, because he's saying... When we met, I was this, this, and that. You trust the process, then we were right. And now... They've been together three years. So, and she's saying the love aspect has gone. But, I don't think he'll be... Do I, I think he'll be doing... I think he'll be working on his purpose with or without her. But he's obviously doing it with her in mind so she can reap those benefits. But she's saying that the love aspect is gone. So that's what I'm saying. Love language. Like, how do you communicate love? How, do, how does one know that one loves? another person your actions yeah but she she doesn't feel like his actions dictate that okay but how can it not he's working for the both of you but she's not receiving that she i don't then know check up your deuces and walk would you want what uh, no she'd rather therapist. come therapy and sort it out and he would rather have gone to church and sleep with the pastor but hey and sleep with the pastor sit with the pastor he said sleep with the pastor <laughs> And Fair enough, I don't work overtime and I'm doing other things on a different level, but I'm the same person, so why would you question it? Can I just ask, what's the, the last loving thing you did for uh, Denise, Denise? Yeah, Denise. Look, we're not going to play the whole uh, turn each other against each other. When's the last time you bought flowers? Look, forget about all of that. Let's get down to what it is now. Just, just, just I like this over too. this, right? Um, as far as I understand, you've been called, or employed rather, to basically help us in our relationship to get better, right? Mm -hmm. So, how do you think you're doing so far? <laughs> okay, well, um, thank you. I'm not <laughs> Wow. Don't be rude. That's not rude. That's a real question. Can you discover what's going on? Okay, okay. What should I do? I can't do this. Well, it, 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 I did research and I found out that a lot of people get a good degree. Um, a lot of them have actually gone on to get married. A lot of them have resolved their situation. Um, be open-minded. I feel like people 
get results from you if they're open minded. Look, look, babe, babe, she didn't she didn't answer the question. What's your son? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't work in schools. I work in people. But he does. He's your client. People come back. It's because they're seeing results. So as far as I'm concerned, um, things are working. So if, if we came back in to your session, that, wow, it's just, working. No. You sign up for a certain number of sessions, and then we discuss whether you need to. Oh, do. so there's more than one. <laughs> He <laughs> yeah, was asking how 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 well was her job. To calm down a little bit, because I'm getting irritated at this point. You're being very dismissive. No, 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 no. At the end of the day, there's nothing dismissive about what he's doing. Okay. Um, he's this thing mental. around here, I'm sorry, it's got to stop. It's, it has to stop. Maybe it's just the makeup. Then there's a problem. Whatever it needs to stop, I said this thing. I don't know what it is, but it needs to stop. Next thing to to this. The... I can't continue to. I'm sorry, but what else does that look good? Baby hurts stuck on the neck. Less than or makes me feel like I'm in the wrong. Who's baby hurts? Who's ever had that? Is <laughs> we're both kind of in line in terms of. Our stop it! You're making. Can you imagine I had it by my bed though? That that plastic thing around here, because my bed didn't cut. No, no, it's good when when couples are on the same page. But are you on the same page? Are you ask her? I'm asking both of you, do you think the you're on the same page? I feel as though we are on the same page with certain things, but again, as much as Paul says I like to nag, he has a lot of issues with things that I do. Me and Jamal argue all the time about his phone and social media. He's <laughs> literally in love with social media. There's this new app called Clubhouse. You've heard about what it. is Clubhouse? This guy um, loves the app so much. That basically, really Instagram funny. Live, but with we'll no video and like 12 people can talk. Yeah, 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 with yeah, 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 no video. House party. I don't even know what house party is. Like, literally, on, this, me on his MacBook. So that we can People go and say they go on there to network. Like, I did with WhatsApp and Instagram. How does that make you feel when you've got clothes so and you're on the phone as well? I mean, if I haven't spoken to you all day, like, am I not important? Like, you know that I go bed early, so I'm literally going to take 20 minutes of your time. This is what I'm saying about um, yeah. love languages. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't talk yeah. to you, yeah. because I don't talk to you doesn't mean that I don't love you. Really I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's... No, do you know what it is? My, okay, my love language is probably like quality time. This guy I could just be sitting here with you and I'm cool with you. Doing your own thing. You could be working. Really huh? What are you saying? To be fair, the way she's making it. To be fair, I would describe yeah. podcast uh, Clubhouse as like a podcast, really and truly. So I just listen to it as like background noise. No, you don't. You're yes. always uh, on stage, and you always have to make one comment yeah, or another. On stage, but it doesn't mean I'm always commenting. Regardless of the fact, is she doesn't listen to me when in your life. Not more than Deborah. No. Oh, that's a big statement. Say that. That's a lovely answer. That is a that's really. That's that's a so answer. Clubhouse is less important. Take the compliment and shut up. You're more important than Clubhouse. Tell them. That's facts. I don't really agree, but that's fine. You know what they say, it's a safe space. So it's an app full of fun and work, I guess. But I don't think it's about Clubhouse. I feel like Deborah just... It's definitely ain't about Clubhouse. She wants attention, I guess. So her being clingy here and there, it's cute. But it's cute. she just needs to relax. I think she's getting a bit... Yeah, How much time do you actually spend together? I think when we first started the relationship, we were seeing each other quite often. Obviously times have changed and shifted and obviously our work schedules have gone busy um, but now do it's... you think you make time for me yes i do make time for you as i said like within reason within our time schedules obviously she knows mine i've given her my rota from time you don't live together i mean when i'm not so do they live together no they don't so then that's the issue you can't be in a relationship and not live together right? you're just before obviously i'm across the pond so i cover eight different countries um do you have an issue <laughs> You say you cover eight different countries, we get it. Like, sometimes you wake up at 6 a.m., sometimes you wake up at... We understand. There we go. So, obviously, I'm in different time zones. I'm in different body clocks. So, I do get tired easily. Um, and, obviously, I'm exhausting a lot of energy. Also, I'm a personal trainer, nutritionist, and a brand marketer. Do you feel that you make time for Deborah? Most certainly. I don't think he does. Um, when we first got together, we were seeing each other. You see? Yeah, sorry, because sorry, 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 sorry. it's honeymoon time. Like, you, you see, putting effort. You see, you see, you see this whole... I put in time, I don't think you do. You see that? I'm, I'm going there. Because, mm. listen, 24 hours a day, if I give you five minutes, or if I give you five hours, or I give you the whole day, the moment you tell me the time I'm giving you is not enough, 
And I know from where I'm sitting, where I'm standing, I'm giving you the most time I can afford to give you. You're telling me I can't afford you. I go go. I have to go. I have to go. I'm not going back and forth with you on this. I give you enough time. No, you don't. All right, cool. I'm gone. You're so you work, I take my whole five family, minutes Family, whatever else, you're in there. You're in, in there. There's not even no social sometimes as well. See, my thing is, yeah, you got to look at the bigger picture. So it's like, if I give you five minutes of the whole 24 hours, and you're saying that's not enough, cool, then, like, I'm not compromising anything else I've got going on because the reason you're getting five minutes is because everything else I'm doing, I believe, is significant enough for me to, like, develop myself and build a brighter future yeah to build a brighter future I'm not giving you five minutes to to make my life worse yeah to make for example Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so yeah more me tell me the time I'm giving and I know that if I don't think if I don't think if I think I could give you more time let's say I'm not giving you time so I can you know play with myself in the bathroom then yeah I understand I can sacrifice my play time in the bathroom (laughs) <laughs> like once every two weeks for me I don't know if you want to spend time with me or not but for once me, every two weeks how can you see your man once every two weeks because they don't live together once every two weeks do you get what I mean I and once every two weeks is that's not a relationship and not a relationship. relationship that was what was happening but obviously now there has been a shift and that is what I don't like okay so Paul just give me a little bit of your background what what business are you in <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, answer the question, babe. So, what, what does my business have to do with the relationship? Just, just That's a relevant I question. Wondered, you know, whether that was influencing the way I'm that you provider. deal with life. I'm a provider, bad man. I'm a provider. I'm a provider. What is it that you do? I don't understand. Just well, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't see. He doesn't want to share his business. For the long term. This, this is the problem that I have. Right, look, with this Denise. His occupation is irrelevant. Feel like she's just asking lots of intrusive questions that doesn't really relate to the situation at hand. She's asking me, "What do I do? Like, I make money." That's why. <laughs> it's a I like this guy. For me, do you understand? You're here for a certain purpose to help with the relationship. Do that. <laughs> If you can't do that, then you're not of use for me. The, the whole point is, she's here, right? And I got her here. We've been together for three years. You got me here. No, well, not here okay. specifically, but I mean, you know, in terms of the journey, we've been together for a long time. I've managed to sustain our relationship um, financially, if that's the question you're asking. No, I wasn't. I was simply wondering mm-hmm. uh, what motivated you and how you work together. Without telling you too much, um, I literally work with high net worth individuals, um, influencers. He said this earlier, one in the. Provide them with basically. Not in so many words. As well as fitness. Um, I also run an IT business, which, um, you know, I work with potentially. He said without telling too much, and he literally told that everything. Yeah. More of the upscale, basically. So you're a very busy man. I am. Even if there's nothing to do, Paul will tell his friends he's do. Oh, I'm, I've just done some. No, you haven't. Like, chill, relax. Seven. <laughs> Even the busiest person has time, Paul. And do you do anything together? Any, you know, hobbies that you do together? Aside from on our laptops in the same room, maybe. When we started dating, we used to like the same music. He was more fun. Now he's I don't I don't even know who's sitting next to me to be honest. Where's your you this? I think that's BS. It's BS. Like, I can see hers. Where's yours? I'm a burner boy fan. You, I'm a burner boy fan too. Be, but now focused. Like that doesn't make sense. <laughs> burner boy didn't like, pay for that promotion. You know, First of all, I'm still taste, seeing it. babe. You 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 didn't like what you liked five years ago. I know that because of the food. Simply the food that you eat. Mm-hmm. Okay? So people change. I still like Burner Boy, but I, yes, I prefer Wizkid. It doesn't mean. You really arguing about what? Who you, you prefer? What? Burner Boy or Wizkid? What? The highway, the highway. No, this is the problem with you. You don't keep the same energy. This is Paige. How old are they? I started dating. You Wait, hold on. That was out of context. That was out of context. It doesn't matter. That's Paige. That I was taking us to. Okay, answer the question she asked us. What do we do together aside from work that, that is meaningful? Is that what let you me, said? Let me tell you what we do, right? Every uh, 28 days, we have a couple of reviews. She's in a professional relationship. Every 28 contract and also she got a re-sign as... Targets and we kind of, you know, check, make like a checkbox type of situation and we mark stuff off, um, help each other out with whatever it is that we need help with and it's... It's worked, basically, in our relationship. It hasn't worked. So, as we said before, obviously, nice five. 
fitness guy, yeah? Okay, well, fitness instructor, brand manager, because he hates when I don't say it properly, all of that. So I have meetings all day. And so sometimes <coughs> when Jamel messages me, I can't message him back as soon as. So his timetable, I'll say it's more flexible than mine. I would message Jamel um, and then he would message me back. And then, you know, I wouldn't respond in another two hours. And I know this guy's on his phone. Like I literally saw him on Instagram, but because I had taken ages, cause I was busy to message him, he would basically be matching my messages and take another two hours to message me. That is so childish. That is very, is that not childish? So wait, I'm being childish. Is that not childish? Do you or wait, do you not match my message? You're assuming that I do that. Oh wait, hold on. Did I not see you on Instagram earlier that day that I messaged you? I double texted wait, you and text. said, sorry, did you not see my message? Did I not? Yeah, so that means your money's in my This is why, yeah. What I'm trying to say is, you match my message. A lot of couples shouldn't follow each other on Instagram. Okay, cool. So why didn't you respond to me for two hours? Because, do you know how many times I post something and I don't reply back to a message? Every, you wasn't, every day. All the time. Yes, I was. All the time. Like, Just because I posted something, don't mean to any to apply back to you now. If Max's mum was doing something, Mick, yeah, Mick, he would just admit it's not that serious. We're not going to do comparisons. Max's boyfriend, we speak a lot, as you know. Wait, me and Max speak a lot. No, it is that serious to bring it up. We're actually talking about Max. Situation. He's able to acknowledge it and he just moves on. Is it Max? Her friend's boyfriend. She's comparing him to her friend's man. Don't compare me. Like, I've had enough with your conversation with your <gasps> friends talking about our sex life, our family life. This wow, you fully just disrespected your man. Like, she loves comparing me to other people, Cause. other guys. Like, no one likes Cause. Wait. She said. Do you know how rude that is? I would have walked out. I would have walked out. Sorry. I would have walked out. No. I'm not, out, not out of the blue therapy session. I would have walked out of the relationship. That's, yeah. what, that's gross misconduct. You just, you just said that I should take a leaf out of his books. Go fuck him then. I think she would. If she hasn't already. <laughs> <laughs> if she hasn't already. Go on. <laughs> Compared to other people, like, what would you do? I've had this conversation enough times. Honestly, it just needs to stop. It pisses me off so much. Like, is this? Um, That's hella weird. I can't lie. Natural person in your life. Do, do they influence you? This friend. Yeah, you're Matt is my best friend, so we speak a lot about our relationship. I'd. I'm an open person, like, I'm happy to, to I'm happy to speak about our sex life, I'm happy to speak about... Wait, to a guy? Like, I, I'm happy. And how does that make you feel, knowing that she's talking to this friend of hers? He's wearing his way in. The friend's wearing his way in. In the industry, we call that an orbiter. Situations that's about myself, especially my family. If you know what orbiter is, check out the If I Speak life. show. Yeah, family life. <laughs> What was said to about your family? Yeah, so let me just put some context into it. So she spoke about a situation between me and my mother. With who? Are you actually going to bring up that situation here? What? You bring up situations with me? Me and my mum, we have a bit of a... What did I say? Here and there relationship. So she's gone to her friend Mansa and just told her about the situation. I need to Google this Mansa person. Mansa sounds like a dumb man. I wasn't telling her. I need to find this. Denise, I wasn't telling her about the situation. I was Man telling her girl. how it was affecting me and Jamel. That's what I was saying. And what advice did she give you? She just said, like, that you're moving out soon. You know, it's just general chit chat. Like, why do you care yeah, about my conversation you have to with Matt? Why about, uh, about general chit chat? Am I just? Am it's I... genuine chit chat. You need to understand that. I'm a real detective, you know. I can't believe you found it that far. Okay, that's how do you know it's her bridge? I literally do on Instagram. Telling my best friend about my relationship. Mm. Like, it's what girls do. It's what we do. It's how we like to communicate. We like to share with our besties. Like, Mansa likes to hear my stories and I like to hear hers. I think Jamel probably has an issue with it because he's not acting right. If he was doing the most now and he knew that I was happy with his, with his behaviour, um, then maybe me. he wouldn't mind me telling Mansa. So, uh, in this checkup, are you both... She said, She's treating her man like a child. She said if he was doing his on job he wouldn't care thing. if i was chatting our business We're on the same page because all paul cares about is if our finances have grown if our savings has grown that's, that's what he's supposed to care about if we're still arguing nothing changes do you understand if if it's the point that i'm cleaning up the whole i support you p as well as having a nine to five and a business nothing's changed he doesn't have an input in personal stuff it's just about Work, 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 work. So if it's about working, then I understand, yeah, the review right. works. So tell me, Paul, before you got involved with Shoma, 
How did you run your household? Well, obviously, everything was self-sustainable, um, self-managed. Mm. However, at the end of the day, I think the question that you should be asking Choma is if she is getting into a relationship with a person like myself, I don't want to say bring it to the table, but... What am I bringing to the table? No, 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 I'm not saying that you don't bring anything to the table. I'm saying you need I'm to for you. let her know that there's certain things that are expected when when she's receiving, you know, a certain lip of certain frequency. Okay, so that... First of all, I contribute to the bills. Um, you contribute, you don't pay all of them. I take care of myself. Of course, he buys me things, but I'm going out to shop for myself. Yeah, for yourself. I'm taking care of the home and him. Yeah, he might do most of the finance, but I'm bringing a lot to You contribute, home. you don't do them lion share, you sit. Mm. You'll be in deficit, you'll be lacking some things, okay? Let's not get confused. Little in one thing. Okay, Paul does not finance me completely. Does that make sense? Yes, he earns significantly more than I do, but he doesn't finance me, all right? So if you... Pause it. This is the, this is the only issue I have, is that I have no problem she has hers, he has his and whatnot. But when it comes time to like everyone's showing their dicks, I know he's showing his dick right now, but she's showing her dick too. He's like, Paul doesn't finance me. I finance myself. Cool, but you guys are in a relationship. You're saying he finances you a little bit. Do you finance him for a little all. bit? Exactly. Exactly. So, he's so as well as exa exactly. Well, you're financing yourself. Exactly. You're getting all of yours and some of his. He's getting all of his. Uh, None of yours. Right. Nothing extra. Anyway. About me becoming a housewife, clearly, because you're talking about finances and me what's, bringing what's something to the table. What's wrong with being a housewife? Oh, was, that, was that the plan we had when we first <laughs> met? It's a genuine question. I don't want to be a housewife. So, what do you want to do? But if you don't want to be a housewife, what do you want to do then? Does that make sense? If I wanted to be a housewife, I would have become a housewife. That's what See, this is what he asks asked you. To do. If you don't want to be a housewife, what do you want to do then? Okay. Okay. Obviously, they've been together three years. He's saying now he's pushing to her. Oh, they've only lived together for six months. All of a sudden, that has now become my So they've been together wow. for six months, not three years. Bearing in mind, both of us are busy. Now, with my soul, See, this is why you need to spend a lot of time with each other at the beginning of the relationship. You need to be... Weekends, if you don't live together at least weekends, because you need to know these habits, you need to know all of this stuff. So, you spent two and a half years with each other, and now only living together for half of that year, you've just spent two and a half years with somebody that you can't really fuck with full time permanently. Do you know what? He just said something, pause. He said something so sick, and it's gonna go over a lot of people's head. He said he expects. To go out, come home with a check. Like, you're stressing yourself going out to go get something that I already have. I should be able to come home with the bag and say, babe, how should we invest this? Mm -hmm. We can't do that if when I come home, you out working because you want to be missing the pendant, blah, 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 this. Like, she doesn't have, she want to be a housewife, she want to, but what do you do then? If you want to do the cooking, what do you do then? As in, what is her income? No, not what's her income. But what, do you, her what do you contribute to the relationship? Well, not, well, I don't know. She says she doesn't even want to come home and tidy the house. She doesn't understand why she can't, they both can't do it. And she says she feels neglected. Yeah. But the way I see it, he's going out working and she don't want to do nothing. more money, significantly more. But she, yet she wants him to do more. She's bringing... To this is the problem. Okay. How, what more do you want? The man goes out and makes the money. So you have to understand, if she stops working... And that income ain't coming in anymore. Is, is there going to be a different? Is there going to be a significant mm -hmm. drop in mm -hmm. that income in that no, household? No, no, is there going to be a significant? No, if not, then if he stops working, well, then yeah, he can't get in trouble. He can't go. He can't die. He can't. He can't. He can't die. He can't get arrested. He can't nothing because if you cut off the head, the body drops. Right now, she's a little finger. I might give her the whole hand. She's a hand. She sees that. She's no, she's the whole hand. Tick, tick, tick. The wig off. Oh. Have you pressed me? Have you pressed me? In terms of how I behave. She became or... lazy. No, no, no. Let's, let's, not, let's not be toxic, babe. Look, th this is what it is, right? Uh, how can I put this? If I, let's say, last client finished by like 9.30, so, okay, whereabouts am I? Um, the Bulgari Night's Bridge, right? I'm glad he said Night's Bridge because I didn't know so, what the fuck a Bulgari you know, EDB was. I think it's a restaurant or a club. 30 minutes. 30 minutes from home. Um, so, if she gets home, she finishes at five, roughly, and 
you know, she's home roughly, maybe not 5.30, no traffic or that. Maybe 6. And I get home 9.30. Do you, don't you, have you made a plan? Don't you think it's a bit practical to kind of um, consider that your partner may be coming home? But, but, but wait, this is, this is, do you think that, you know, Yes, Paul! This is for you. And there does seem to be a few hours to spare. However... There's no however! He said, don't do that. Tell her. Tell her. No, I, I'm not here to tell anyone, just so you understand. I'm here to listen. You just agreed with what I said. No, it's not a case you're, of agree. I said I understand. No, no, it's you. Cool. No, but just... <laughs> <laughs> you two discuss this I'm and I'm an intermediary. So I don't that's, that's, that's not what's happening. What's happening is if she comes up with a point, you're quick to say, oh, yeah, Paul, what do you think about it? Only and then when, when I when you clearly agree with me on something, you're not asking her the same question. Right. What's going so on? So can I just say, bear with me, the reason I go to you with the question right. is because you're not being vocal. Shoma is being very vocal. You're she handles him very well, though. She doesn't dismiss him or call him out of his name. She's a perfection. Oh, wait. Are you talking about I'm talking about Choma. 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 Don't do that. Choma. I think it's Choma. I want to Google what that means. Um, she, she's like... Like, she doesn't turn around and kind of dismiss you and disrespect you. She just says, you're picking me up, you're peeing me up. Yeah, she's, but she's not, she's not like, you're pissing me up, stop it. She's like, no, calm down, like, you, do you know what I mean? Her tone of voice is still quite mellow. Oh, okay. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I still can't get past that. You're, you're childish, you take to ask to respond to my messages, and you're having, you have an issue with the conversation that I have with my friends. How would you like him to change in the way that he deals with you? What would you Now I know why she's never had a relationship okay. before. Um, I would like oh, to she? Mel to actually listen to me when I speak. I think he's 28 or 29. I would like you to take a I like 24 year olds. And try and fix the things this one's point because it's small things, it's very tiny. And I feel like we could move past it if you just have a straight. Sometimes you can be childish. Isn't it? Yeah. It's not. But it's a wig as well, so how could it not be straight? It. Is there anything that um you would respond to with regards to Deborah. I, I feel like just do not compare. I'm confused. So you're basically having therapy because your man's late. I compared you to just, what, one of my best friends. Well, if you were behaving, then maybe I wouldn't behaving? be comparing you to other Am I, people. Wait, are you my mum? There's things that you do that I don't like, and I just want to seek advice from my friends. And when she told me what her boyfriend's doing, is even raising the bar even. This, then why are you with him? So Leave. She said, friends. if you were behaving. If you were behaving, like naughty step. We're of the same age. You want time out? Time out. Friends about him. Anyway, as well. You know, certain sick, things that like he's doing for her, like taking her out weekly. You know, buying her gifts, all these sort of things. I'm gonna look at my know. relationship as well and evaluate it. That's, That's just it. So why don't you date them then? Well. And hopefully he can work on it. Not that. What I really like about Mansa's boyfriend is that he's proactive. He doesn't have to be told what to do. If Mansa wants <laughs> gifts, if Mansa wants a meal, he's already on it before she has to say. And Jamel really needs to take a leaf out of his book. Does Jamel She's the on the big, big platform talking about what she likes about another man. I mean... What I like about him is that... Relationship. Um, in fact, no, before we got together, actually, he did what? buy me gifts. What? Um, but now it's definitely dropped. I don't really get much. Um... Even like flowers or like chocolate, you know. Is that a problem for you? And is that an issue? Hundred percent. I love gifts, and um, that's just like my love language. And Jamal knows that. So at yes, the start of the relationship, the me and Jamal went on so many dates. He was treating me like a princess. We were going out on dates. He was buying me gifts. You know, we were spending a lot of quality time together. But now, <coughs> Jamal is the complete opposite. He's completely fallen off. And it's like he doesn't do. Like, I mean, Deborah's speak. love language. But the thing is, though, you see... First, I think it's wishy-washy. Like, one minute it's giving... You gift, see the whole princess it's thing? Quality time. Like, I understand it could be both of them at the same time, but... Princesses you know, is are not married. Over. I don't mind it. But I That's why they're princesses. Like Queens are like, married. Right now. You're going to be treated like a princess. Princesses, princesses are children of the kings. Children of the queens. You can't buy yourself these gifts. Don't expect your man to buy for you. I mean, she has every right to feel that way. She has every right to demand whatever it is she wants to demand. She has every right to demand those things. And he's the idiot if he continues to provide beyond his means and whatnot. You know, he's in a woman that you can't maintain. But, uh, you know, but <clears throat> this whole used to treat me like a princess. What, like, 
A princess, you are a child. You're nobody's wife. By definition alone. And that's the problem. You're there talking about problems in your relationship. You're not even in a relationship. You want to be treated like a princess. You want to be somebody's child. Alright. have a break. Dad, this is going great. <laughs>